Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity will have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is. <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4... And a Capture Team helicopter.
We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility. And also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Mm -hmm. 